so now that we have prepared our profit and loss statement the next thing with that we would expect to do is uh, we would like to calculate the cross profit the operating profit the profit before interest and tax and finally the net profit and if you look closely these values here the the subtotal in front of the trading account already represent the gross profit why is that so you know that this is the subtotal of this particular seg uh, segment that is trading account and the subtotal of sales and cost of sales is going to be your gross profit what i really want to do uh, to make it simple is i want to represent the subtotal at the bottom of the group rather than at the top and that is very simple just select the matrix go to format and then go to the subtotals and in that subtotals there must be an option and that option is that the subtotals should be represented at the top or at the bottom so i will select the at the bottom option and now you can see that your subtotal of trading account i mean the gross profit is represented at the bottom here and you can see your gross profit similarly you can see your net profit as well if i can just you know resize this uh matrix here here we have our just let me do that again and here we have our okay so i will have to you know uh, reduce the size of my font so i will go back to this uh, format option here and i will go back to uh, the values and in that values let me reduce the font size now you can see that i'm unable to fit in my whole matrix here on the screen so i will go back and i will select the size of 11 so so that everything is fit in right here and let me also reduce the size of the row headers so let me change that and let me go to the row headers so in that row headers we need to reduce the size here as well and that should also be 11 and once we do that i think yes so everything is now perfectly fit in on our screen so now you can see the cross profit as well and the net profit as well but we cannot see the operating profit you can see that the operating account subtotal that are represented here at the bottom of operating account is just the total of operating expenses similarly the total of the non-operating that is represented here is just the total of these non-operating so we do not have the value of a profit before interest and tax and net profit that is appearing here on this screen secondly you may like to rename this total as gross profit and you may like to rename this total as net profit but unfortunately i cannot do that here so what i really want to do next is that i want to calculate my gross profit and my net profit and my operating profit and my profit before interest and tax and also the earnings before interest and tax and depreciation and amortization that is called EBITDA EBITDA so I want to calculate all of those values but I will have to do that separately on this screen not within this matrix so let us start that so first of all I need to select some kind of visual in which I would like to represent these values so that can be again the matrix would be a suitable option so let me select the matrix here and on this matrix what I want to do is that I want to present the values so I will go back to my GL now I will do it little fast because you know this is a repeat of what we have done in the past as well in the previous uh, working as well so I will simply drag the amount to values in the columns I will drag the year so I will quickly go into the calendars and I will drag in the date so that you know we have the years as well and now in the rows I will drag in the okay so in the rows here now I don't need to drag anything rather I need to you know make sure that these values are not the total of everything rather these values are only the net value of the trading account and where should you know how should I do that I should do that by applying the filter and for filter what level of filter I should apply let me take you to my chart of accounts here and on this chart of accounts let me show you at what level we had trading account so let me uh, scroll down and now in the PL, you can see that at the class level we have defined our trading account so if i actually represent if i can zoom in for you you can see that at the class level we have trading account here so i will apply the filter that only select the class where it may say it is trading account so let me go back to report now and i will say open the filters and for that visual please go to my chart of accounts and select the class and only select the class where it is 
trading account so i'll select the trading account now and now you can see my values here if i can just zoom in for you you will see that i have the same values that was appearing in the pnl as well so 2.383 million 3.968 million and 5.341 million so you know definitely that is uh, that was already appearing in the pnl so you may uh, like not to show that at all and you can simply move to operating profit as well but before i do that let me just select a heading for this visual so that you know when we have a lot of data on our dashboard we should be able to select all of these uh, we should be able to see what these values are okay so i will quickly go to my formatting and in this formatting i will go to my title and i will say turn on the title and name that as gross profit and uh, uh, okay, so we should be formatting that as well a bit so that it is actually uh, clearly presentable. So make it central aligned and the font size is okay. And the first, you know, the, I'm changing the font to Calibri and I just need to want do one more thing and that is I need to add a background color and that should be light blue. Okay, so now we have a clearly appearing gross profit on my screen and I just need to do one thing and that is I need to, uh, you know, make this total disappear from here so for that i will go to the subtotals here and on these subtotals i will simply turn off that subtotals for columns so that you know i have the very clear picture here in front of me okay so now that i have cross profit let us calculate the operating profit as well because that is something that we would expect the next to be calculated here and for operating profit only thing that will change is the filter so i will simply copy and paste this visual here and on this new visual i need to apply a new filter and for that let me go to my chart of accounts again and now this time please take a moment and please try to take and check it out that what should be the filter looking like so please take a moment for that so let us start so if i just apply the filter of operating account like class equals operating account it will only bring in the sum of all the operating income and expenses but what i want to see is that i want to uh, pick up the gross profit and move further from there and deduct all the operating expenses to see my operating profit for that now what we need to do is that we need to apply the filter of trading account plus operating account in that case you know we can simply reach at uh, the operating profit so let us go back to our dashboard and let us say in the filter of this visual uh, where we have applied the trading account uh, here we have so let me open that and let me say uh, please apply the trading account as well as the operating account so once we apply the operating account as well now you have seen that the values have changed and before i you know verify that let me quickly change the heading as well so uh, the heading is here in the title and now i will say please name it as operating profit okay so now we have operating profit and let us quickly check one value just for our you know uh, just for our assurance and for that let me bring in the calculator here on my screen so that is the easiest thing that i can do just right now so 2.383246 minus uh the total of this going to is going to be operating expenses plus this one the total is going to be 1642 i mean the total of, of, of operating expenses plus depreciation and amortization the total of this head that is going to be 1642445 so 1642445 4, 4, 4, and if i do that you will notice that the answer is 74801 so we have actually uh, correctly calculated our operating profit so after the operating profit the next value that you would like to see is profit before interest and tax and for that what i'm going to do is i'm simply going to copy and paste this value here and now again all we need to do is to change the filter and what new filter should look like let me take you back to my screen of the data and now you can see that in the pnl at the class level we now need to pick up the trading account and also the operating account and we also need to pick up the non-operating expenses and if we do that you know 
our income, our gross profit will be, you know, deducted by operating expenses and non-operating expenses. And our answer is going to be our earnings before interest and tax. So we will ignore the interest and tax and answer is going to be earnings before interest and tax. So I repeat, I just need to add one filter, uh, one value in the filter and that is going to be non-operating. So I will go back to my report view here and I will say in that report filter, I just go here and please add the non-operating as well. And once we do that, that is going to be our uh, PBIT earnings before interest and tax. So let me change the heading first of all. Uh, let's go to title and let us say, please name it as PBIT profit before interest and tax. And let us quickly validate that as well. So operating profit was 74801 and then non-operating is if I can take a look at total is 36,447. So let me go back to my calculator and I would say this value, now this non-operating was actually an income. So I will be adding another than a minus, I will be adding here. And I will say, please add 36,477, 36, And that is going to be 777278. And that is exactly, if I can just zoom in for you, that is exactly the value in front of me right now. So I have calculated my profit before interest and tax as well. And now finally, let us calculate our net profit as well. So for that, I will just copy and paste this value again. And now finally, let me go back to, let me take you back to my data, my chart of accounts. And now you know that for to reach at the net profit, I just need to deduct the interest and tax as well. So in the filter, I will add the interest and tax. So I will go back, I will select my visual on which I'm working. And I would say in this filter, please add interest and tax. Here it is. And once you have done that, your profit, your net profit, let me change the heading. Uh, your net profit is going to be, let me do that first. I'm sorry, net profit. Okay, so net profit is 623,856. That is exactly the value that we have in our PL. Similarly, the next year is 1303147. We have the same value, and similarly, we have the same value in the last year as well. Okay, so we have quickly calculated our gross profit, operating profit, PBIT, and net profit, and that too without using any complex formulas, right? Okay, so we already have calculated all of these values of gross profit, operating profit, PBIT and net profit. Uh, there is one value that we have not calculated yet and that is EBTIT, earnings before interest and tax and depreciation and amortization. Okay, so for that, let me you know bring in that value here and uh, that should be actually appearing here before operating profit. So, you know, I would say bring that value here. So I will just copy and paste this visual of cross profit. And now I will try to calculate AB Ibtida. Okay, so uh, how do we do that? Let us go back to our chart of accounts data and let us see what kind of filter we can use. So if I go to go back to my chart of accounts, you will notice that uh, to calculate the earnings before interest and tax and depreciation and amortization and interest and tax, I mean Ibtida, what I need to do is I need to deduct the operating expenses except the depreciation and amortization from our gross profit. I mean, we need to consider our complete PL up to this point, up to the operating expenses. But the problem is, well, the filter that we were using was actually on the class. And on the class level filter, when we use the operating account, we directly jump into that level. I mean, we actually have to include the depreciation and amortization as well. Now what that should mean is we should actually do not use the class filter for that calculation rather we should use the subclass in which I only pick up the sales and the cost of sales and the operating expenses and you will jump in at this level I mean before depreciation, before amortization, before non-operating expenses and income and before interest and tax. Okay, so I mean, let us conclude. We have to use the filter on subclass and that filter should be sales, cost of sales and operating expenses. Let us go there. 
so let us select this matrix and i would say go back to my filter here and in that filter first of all let us remove this filter and now let me bring in the filter at subclass level so i will do that now and at this level now let me zoom in for you at this level now i will only pick up the sales that is uh, here and i will pick up the cost of sales that should be appearing at the top and now i will also consider the operating expenses and that should be this one okay so now that we have considered all of these three values let us go back to our matrix and let us see can we see the right value now okay so i have reached at my matrix now and if i can just zoom in for you let us see if you can see the right value okay so we already have you know gross profit that was validated all above so now what to calculate the gross from gross profit to the ibtida let me deduct this total of the operating expenses and let us do that in our calculator so i have my calculator here and in that calculator let us go back to the gross profit two three eight three two four six two three eight three two four six let us deduct the total of operating that is one two three five four four one one two three five four four one and here we have the value that we actually wanted to see and that was basically earnings ibtida so all i really need to do is to only change the heading of this uh, matrix and that heading is going to be ibtida so let us go there and change the title where it is here it is okay and call it okay perfect so now we have all the values all the calculations from pnl that we wanted to see and if you just in, like to increase the font size you can do that and with that you know we are done with the basic calculations in the next lecture i'm going to present you some of these values again with the sap with the different visuals and of course they have you know separate kind of purpose so we should know that as well let us do that in the next lecture